Aloha. Aloha. It's the Mandible Sisters back filming another video together. With a creaky upstairs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> My mum's gone upstairs. We've sent her upstairs so we can film together. Uh, the pros and cons of filming around a family that don't also want to be in the camera. If she wanted to be in the camera, we'd quite happily film a video of her as well. Something tells me she doesn't want to. Yes, I'm aware that I am super covered up and Amelia just got her boobs hanging out. <laughs> I just, it's a new, I haven't worn this dress before. Um, I'll try and take it up a bit, there you go. <laughs> it just, it's just illustrating how we have two very different humans. Today we are answering the nitty gritty questions, the questions that we have never answered before. Plans on having kids. I don't think we've ever spoken about this online, have we? I think I might have. I've spoken about my anxiety over it, but I, I'm happy to elaborate a bit more. Yeah, well, what did you say to me today? Uh, I really want kids. I really see myself as being a mum. Like, to be honest, I've said as long as I'm financially stable... You'd have um, kids tomorrow. Yeah, and but I think another thing I need to work out is being mentally stable. Uh, I started to realise, like, mental health can be, like, inherited, and I don't actually want to give birth to a kid if they live the life that I live, basically. The mindset. Not like I've had such a good life, but just uh, I don't want them to deal with the anxiety. You want them to have an unhappy brain. Yeah, which is what I'm really struggling with at the moment. Or an unhappy mind. Yeah, unhappy mind, brain, unhappy, yeah. So I would love kids. I really want kids, but I'm actually trying to think, is it fair having a kid if they're going to be like me? <laughs> Basically, <laughs> I was going to be talking to a therapist soon. <laughs> it's been a, a lockdown's been a struggle, if you haven't told, can, can tell. Covid's put a few things on hold. Yeah. But don't worry, we are there for her. <laughs> what about you, Grace? Um, I would like kids too, but it's not something that I want like right now. Definitely in the future. Me and Ryan have talked about it. We both want kids. Um, when? Yeah. When? What do you mean? You should just have one now. You've got a house. You've Amelia got a Amelia wants one right this minute. I literally want a baby so bad. This is the difference between us. Amelia would have one tomorrow. Yeah. I don't want one for a good few years. I, f I literally, I want one so bad. Yeah, yeah, but you have one. I'll be cool auntie. You you, you, you would be jealous. You know I you know, would. Of course I would be jealous. I don't <laughs> think that. But oh, hurry on. For, oh no, you can't. That's all good. This is, I think this one we've answered before, but do you ever get mistaken for twins? Yeah, all, all the, the time. time. I always all wish we time. were twins. All the time. Actually, no, I think sisters is good. Yeah, but we actually like, well, you you compare yourself to me. Oh, all the time, If yeah. we were twins, do you not yeah. think you'd compare yourself even more? Even more? Yes, 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 definitely. Like, even more. Without a doubt. I think this is supposed to have, like, a tie around it, maybe? I mean, yeah. Okay, oh. so one thing you should know about me and Amelia is Amelia's constantly regretting things and wishing things. Yeah. I'm the complete opposite. I'm just like, it's done, been there, done that, can't change anything. So, Amelia, if you had to go back and relive a year of your life, what would it be? And what would you do? I don't think I would have dropped out of college, to be honest. I knew that was going to be your answer. Yeah, I feel like... Although I feel like if I actually got to an A levels and maybe even went to uni, I might I don't know have more options right now. I think maybe. Amelia's currently in the process of like trying to possibly get a full time job, and is realizing that not having a degree is holding her back a bit. By the way, I think that's completely wrong. The way that people get jobs these days, like half the jobs that you apply for, you don't actually need a degree, but they do it out of principle. Some you do, obviously. Um, and so, yeah, you're finding that mm. quite hard, aren't you? What about you? Relive, the, relive your uh, last year, because that was a pretty good year for you. Yeah, I mean, but I don't know if I need to relive it. Maybe Just first, relive it to enjoy it again. Maybe the first year of meeting Ryan, because I quite liked, like, learning things about him. Yeah, and that, like, time where you don't know each other and you're getting yeah. to know each other. That's but sweet. saying that, I wouldn't wish to relive any year of my life, because I think, I don't know, I don't... Relive it, because it's good, though. Not, like, relive it and change it. You don't have to do that. Yeah, I guess you can, You would notice more things. If I... Or appreciate things a bit more. Yeah, on, on my wedding day, yeah. like, half of it is a blur, so if I relive that... Guess what then, I was going to say, yeah. Yeah, but then, like, Henry wasn't very well last year, yeah. so... yeah. So I don't know. You know what I mean? Yeah. It comes with pros yeah. and cons. Maybe if I could relive a day, that's what it would be. Oh, yeah, that's sweet. That's so I probably, I probably, I probably, so wait, I probably relived that day. It was amazing. But it's I so cringeworthy, it. isn't it? No, it's, it's like sweet. if I choose one day to relive, it would be like my wedding day. Oh, it was, it was so sweet. What is our annual revenue from social media? I could not work this one out in my head via Instagram and Twitter, but I can tell you what we get per month on YouTube. So like. 
20 pounds it each? ranges from 20 pounds each to about 28 pounds each we do it for the dollar, money guys. Dollar. we do it for the money that, that is adsense revenue um we haven't got a sponsored youtube video we don't really this do. year yeah, so, so that doesn't obviously sponsored youtube videos is where the money comes mm-hmm. in uh, but that's what we earn from adsense I couldn't actually tell you from social media because both me and Amelia do completely different jobs now. I don't really earn any money from, I would say, being an influencer anymore. Not this year, at least. Or maybe a little bit. Maybe a little bit. I do from Instagram, but I haven't had a sponsored job in quite a while. So I've got some coming up, but I I would need to... You might need to ask that one again at the end of the year. Yeah, because COVID's not a very good reflection. Yeah, maybe ask us, ask us, uh, ask us in December, and we'll let you know. But we earn more than the YouTube revenue, by the way. Yes, when we get a sponsor. <laughs> Grace, um, Grace owns a house, so yeah. she has a mortgage. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> but uh, that's how much. Yeah, so we earn about twenty to thirty pounds, I'd say, on YouTube <laughs> a month. We yeah. get paid each, each. Yeah. Do you ever feel like you're missing out on your typical twenties? No. I feel like I've had good 20s. I feel like I'm missing out on... I missed out on my teenage years. My God, I could have quoted that out of your mouth. I knew you were going to say that. <laughs> um, <laughs> she dropped out of college, so she and definitely didn't really like... do anything. I didn't go to the pubs. I didn't go clubbing. I didn't. I didn't, I didn't do drink. Any, I didn't drink. Didn't do anything. I, the only stuff I'd do was with Grace, and that was actually it was pretty cool. Teenagers, because it'd be going to like premieres and events and stuff like that. Yeah, it just wasn't. I think it wasn't until I met Pete that I actually had my, like, let's go to the pub. Let's go to, like, this place. Let's... Yeah, and you had a group of friends. friends. Yeah. Uh, Amelia, like, had a real weird friendship situation at sixth form. Is bullying? I don't know. I wouldn't call it bullying. I just never fit in. I think that's the way to say it. I never fitted in into this group that I wanted to fit in. And I wouldn't accept that, I guess, because I just was always trying to fit in. Yeah, it was and really then, horrible. Yeah, it was... it was really sad. Um... But now her twenties is like the time where she's like thriving. Yeah, I got got a boyfriend, got group friends. You know, YouTube like actually became a Can't job. Can't go out because of COVID, but Pub- used to be able to publish two books. Yeah. So uh, yeah, I don't. I don't. What about you? Um, you moved quite fast in your twenties. Yeah, you I moved really fast in my twenties. But the only thing that I felt at the time I was missing out on for a few months was when. Every single one of my friends went to university and I didn't. Mm. And that definitely went into the 20s, early 20s. It wasn't until I actually went to visit my friends more. Like, I visited a friend in Brighton quite a lot. And basically what I did was I got my, like, taste of uni life for, like, those two nights that we'd go out and I'd stay with them or three nights. Without the student loan. And then I would get to go home to, like, the comfort life. Um, (laughs) And so I actually, that's how I kind of got my kick out of it. Yeah. Not not kick, I don't think that's the right word. The taste of uni life and student life. And that was enough for me, actually. Saying that now, I've started to do illustration and stuff. Part of me wishes that I did go to university when I was younger and do that and study that. Because I still love it to this day and I loved it then. And maybe I'd be doing that full time now if I had... But no regrets, because I don't have regrets. But yeah, it also could be something, you're so good at it, it could be something that you could do in the future. Yeah, maybe. But um, yeah, that's the only thing. Yeah. But, but I didn't miss out on anything in my 20s. I, I had, I mean, yeah, I'm still I mean, living my 20s. Did yeah. I say early 20s? No, it's a typical 20s experience. I don't even, I guess that's the, probably the going to uni and then, I don't know, maybe that's the typical 20s. I don't know, 20s are a weird year. I've just heard you should really make the most out of your 20s. Definitely. I feel like when you get into your mid-20s, that's when it's like, you know who you are as a person. You know what you want from life, partly. Mm. Well, I'm nearly 24 and you're nearly 26. But people say you get that when you turn to 30. So I've heard who that. knows? Yeah. Apparently 30s is like the best point in your life. But I think everyone says that about every point in your life. Yeah, it's probably just like, basically, let's just make the most of this life. <laughs> yeah, basically. Let's just enjoy it. Where do you see yourself in 10 years? You know, I think I'd be lying if I said that I thought we'd still be doing this YouTube channel in 10 years. Yeah, well, Which is horrible to say because we still love doing it. We might, like, maybe we'd have another channel or like separate channel. We would be doing or... something else and we'd definitely be creating content, but I don't know if we'd continue this channel. No, I don't think so. Do you reckon? Uh, 10 years is a long time. That's what I mean. Yeah. Like, I'm thinking like... You don't even know if YouTube would be... I mean, this channel isn't an actively growing channel, 
And so I don't know in 10 years we'd still have viewers. I mean, that's what I'm saying. We're going to keep posting, basically, as long as people keep watching. And I think when people stop watching is when we'll probably... I mean, I imagine this channel eventually is going to get down to, like, 10 views. Yeah. In, like, 10 years' time. And realistically... Yeah. No, I think... I think... Like we said, we really enjoy making videos and as long as people are still watching, we're going to keep doing them. But I think we'd be ambitious if we think this page would still be active in 10 years. Same app. I would happily do it if it, If it know, continues yeah. doing the way it does, then it will, the videos will still be there. We're not like closing the channel down. No. Where else would we see each other in 10 years? I mean, I imagine that we'll have a family, both of us. I'd hope so. Yeah. Ten years time. I hope I'd be married. I'd hope I have. You want a kid next year? Yeah, I actually I want a kid when I'm twenty five. You have a dog. Hopefully, have a dog. Uh, a house with Pete. Hopefully, have a job that I feel like maybe a stable job, or maybe might be just a mama. I, I would, would like enjoy to be just a mama at home. I would like a different kind of business aside from YouTube. Yeah, I've always wanted to start a business yeah. myself. Um. Me and Ryan have brainstormed and tried to create so many businesses that haven't worked. I love that you guys are very entrepreneurial. entrepreneurial. Yeah, but they haven't worked, none of them. But we have started so many in the background and I would like to, in 10 years' time, be running Um, like a business successfully. I think you will. But who knows? So there we go. Maybe we didn't give you enough time to send us in some really nitty-gritty questions. Maybe we'll have to do it again. I was going to say, if you like this, we could just do another one. Yeah. Thanks for having us. Yeah, see you soon, guys. Maybe you learned something new. Bye. Bye.